Hello, Internet. This is E. Schrodinger's cat here with another build challenge. Uh, today, our word is contrast, and these build cha challenges are where I take a word from a random word generator, and I try to implement that idea in Minecraft in the bounds of this 63 by 63 block square. Last time, we did Dreamlands, and that's that's this one over here, which I think came out pretty good. And then, well, the first time, I did Waveform, which came out okay acceptable <laughs> hopefully we'll get another good one maybe uh yeah so today so today's word is contrast and my idea is to have just some sort of building castle maybe house i don't know but on one side of it's going to be one theme and one side of it's going to be the other i my first my initial thought was fire and ice but that's kind of cliche i might do that i might do something else but i'm going to do some planning and i, I think the first thing i'm going to do is just build the house first and then try to switch it up because uh, then i have something to work off with so i'm going to get on to that i built up a little uh terrain and decided on a heaven and hell kind of theme which is Probably just as, if not more, cliche than Fire and Ice. But, but you know what? Sometimes something's cliche for a reason, because it's cool. And so now I have to figure out where the building goes. I don't think I want this to be super symmetrical, because, I mean, the idea is contrast. But on the same time, we, we, we want to have, um, the, ideally, the same amount of building on each side. So... Maybe we start with two primary towers, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in width. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Yeah? Yeah? Is that decent? Maybe? That might be too small. My dog's barking. He has opinions. He doesn't know, though. Uh... That's a little small for a primary tower, I'd say. So probably come out another block, couple block radius and such. I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's such a strange space to be working in. Um, yeah, like I'm, I'm so used to just having as much space as I want. And this kind of constricted space is, it's, it's strange. It's a different experience. Yeah, that, that's... That's good for a for a main tower or main structure and stuff because this isn't gonna be a super huge building. I, I mean, it's mostly gonna be the uh, what's you know a part of the building. Uh, copy, copy, and where do we want to put this? Um, uh, here. Paste. Is that is that decent? See, the problem there is that it's off-center, but it's only slightly off-center, so it looks like it is unintentionally off-center, and what we want is intentionally off-center. So, maybe paste here? Paste? I pasted wrong direction. Undo. Undo. Eh. This is still selected, I think, so if I come here like that, this might be easy. It might be easier to... to to plan out with respect to this one because we want it to be let's see paste uh yeah 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 that'll work it took me a while of scrolling through the menus to uh try 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 and figure out uh, style, but I think I'm sort of finding it a little bit. It's annoying because there's there's no walls for charred nether brick. There's slabs and stairs, but there's no walls. There's also no stairs for basalt. And I'm avoiding chisel and bits because I don't want to go falling into the rabbit hole of never finishing everything and it takes 12 years, billion, jillion years. This is wrong. Uh, and, but uh, I've got this, this basalt and this nether brick thing uh, going for me here. And I've got these poles going up, and I'm kind of thinking like the uh, like uh, the image I have in my mind that I'm kind of basing style of is that that big black gate that's outside of Mordor with the spikes and the you know all all, all that stuff going on. So I'm gonna have it be like that. Uh, maybe I'll remove this bit right here, like that. So it's like that. 
I like that better. I like that better versus it being versus it being connected makes it look kind of like a waffle. <laughs> so uh, instead of having Waffle Hut, uh, I do want Hell House. So uh, maybe try that and. Uh, is that too? No, that's perfectly spiky. I think I think we have ebony wood in this pack. Yeah, which isn't. I mean, wood is not a very hell type block, but it is the only black fence we have in the uh, in the um, pack. Uh, again, because tried another brick for whatever reason. Cork has all of its other blocks have walls, but but. Charred nether brick? Nah, fuck, no, nope, can't have that. Uh, so I've, I've got these spikes and maybe iron bars? Like that? Like, boop, no, boop, boop, boop. Is that too tall? Is that comically tall? Actually, that's pretty cool, and I can put uh, skulls on here. I can put wither skulls? Yeah? Boop, boop, boop. There we go, small hitbox. I do like that. I approve. And this needs to be figured out. I think I can just do this. Can I, I, can I put stairs there and have it look decent? Uh, maybe? Possibly? Potentially? Uh, like that? So it's like more spikes? Yes? Maybe? Yes? Possibly, could be, potentially, potentially. I'll I'll settle for it potentially. Let me try and get them on the whole outline here, uh, so that I can see it all the way across. Uh, what if I put it down here as well, so that it's, uh, it looks a little unbalanced right now? So if I put it like that, and like that, and like that, and like what? We've reached the funny noises segment of the episode, if you haven't been keeping track. And... Mm, almost makes me want to change what that black... what the background block is. Let me see what that looks like. I swapped out the red nether brick and added a bunch more of the charred nether brick um, uh, stairs around it, and I think it looks a lot better. It, it has less of that wall to Mordor, or uh, Gate of Mordor feel that I had just because of the red, but I think it looks better overall, so I think that's fine. It's a fine deviation, and, you know, it was only a source of inspiration anyway. That's not what we're building. Um, now I want to take this up a little, because I, I want it to be of, of two layers, so I think I'm going to bring this in, and I think I'm just going to line this like that for now. I don't know if this is the block that will stay here, but it's the one I'm putting here for right now. I'll just get it on all the force. I guess I don't need to. Uh, then I can come up like this again. So it's like in one, another floor, like in, like so that there's depth and stuff and it's pointy and all that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I think it should, the, the top part should be taller than the, than the inner part. And I think that is a good height, and I can have, I don't know, maybe another ring of these heads or, or, or something. That is the Hell Primary Tower mostly done. Got in a bunch of detail, just kind of... It's, it's basically just like this layer, but higher. And I, I got this kind of floor design, like, plat, you know, you know kind of gazebo-like structure. Got the heads on, of course. Got this roof up here kind of just brought up the same thing to a point and nice of course it's full of skulls and it's 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 very 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 covered in skulls to some to a kind of comical degree but that's okay uh nothing wrong with a little bit of comicalness um uh, now we need to do the heaven building somehow in some way i don't know i'm st i i i, I want to do it but not the same structure in this as this but just in lighter blocks so let me go find some blocks i just did the building i don't know <laughs> i just kept building and i was like well, i don't really feel like recording so i'm just gonna keep doing it but that's okay uh, because we have the building now and it's not anything super super special it's just you know 
building. Uh, well, similar to other stuff I've done in past series, so whatever. I don't know, man. Man, don't, don't judge me for my laziness, because it's who I am. Right now, I... There's so much space here that's not being filled like i built these two things and, and they're both like kind of sizable and there's just so much more space for for whatever reason it just feels big uh at this time over here it felt like tiny over here it's like giant and it was like i i, I moved the two buildings away because they were right here in the middle and it was like compositionally wise it was super busy like your eye didn't know where to go so i moved them to opposing corners of the thing I think what I can do is maybe have a road type. I'm just using this pink wool as, as a road marker. And maybe to have like a road type thing that comes across and, and goes cross over the sides, maybe? I don't know, because I, I, I could like put a doorway here and then, I don't know, bring, bring it like that. I don't know how geometric I want this road to be. I could have the road come and split down the center here. And that could be cool, because one side of the road could be dark and one side of the road could be light. Hmm. I'm gonna think about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the road thing. I think I'm gonna have it be... Is five wide a good road? With? I don't know. Let's put it down and find out. Um, I should probably put these next to each other. That would be more efficient. And like that. No, that's 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 not grand enough. I don't think two, three, seven, seven will be good. That'll be good. And then we can sort of give it some height, and it won't look weird. Uh, up oh, and boop and boop. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. And then I guess we can space them three apart. Maybe three apart. Three apart seems decent. I mean, that's that's the width of, of those over there, so that seems within the realm of possibility. And how does that work out on this side? Uh, and where's where's the middle one? Where's There it is. It was hiding. It was sneaky. It was blending into the background like a chameleon. Uh, and one more. And yep. Yeah. That, that would be the straight part. It's hard to see these, so I'll bring those up a little bit so that we can judge it a little bit more. Especially this sneaky one. He's sneaking all over the place. Mm, up to no good. Uh, yeah. And then the curve. <laughs> then there's the matter of the curve. And how do we do that? As should, should it be kind of organic? Let's see. One, two, three. Like that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. That's not centered on the building though, which is kind of annoying. Um, let's let's start it out centered on the building. So the center of the building's here. One, two, three, what? And then one, two, three, what? And then what? And like that. Maybe that's three there. And, no, that's totally not... I don't know, I'll figure this out off camera. Bridge! I I, I was gonna record uh, building the bridge, but then I, I, I was eating dinner, I like had chicken and, and, and gravy, and it was messy, and I didn't really want to move the plate. And then after I was done eating, I was like full, so I was like lethargic because of the being fullness, so I didn't really want to record. But the point is, we have this bridge now, and I, I have it... Um, I, I just made the road of the bridge concrete powder. I might, I might uh, throw some more stuff in here to make it a little less flat because it is definitely a lot of texture. Maybe some of this concrete that I used for the the base of it right here. Oops, I forgot a bit. I forgot a bit. I gotta put it back. I forgot the under underlining over here. Oh. Oh, oh, gotta fix that, or I'll, or I'll forget about it and, and never come back to it, and it'll stay undone forever. There we go, we did it. Yeah, and maybe mixing some of this stuff in, just to, because it, it kind of just, like, there's all this texture, and then it kind of just stops, so I guess I will mix that in, and that's helping, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of put more of this, I, I don't know, you guys don't need to watch me do this. I don't know, I guess snow would be a block for, for right here? Uh, cause it's lighter than the concrete powder. 
The uh, white concrete is actually darker and bluer than the concrete powder, which is a little annoying when it comes to texturizing, but, I mean, eh, close enough. Um, yeah, I think that's, it's, yeah, that's, that's fine. That, that works as an effective texture, but, yeah, I, I, I blended these two. I also blended it down here, so it wasn't such a harsh line. Now I need to figure out I, I think I want to have a big archway of, like, natural formations, like, over here, over this thing. But I want to have it, you know, be, be morphing between the two styles. I feel like I put a lot of these arches and stuff. I, I have one in uh, Fullcraft. I actually have two in Fullcraft, and I, have, I, I put them everywhere. They're just so nice and handy for making you know, t t terrain look good, because you, 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 it kind of closes you in, and then as soon as you go out of the arch, there's this big reveal of whatever's on the other side. They're nice, it's nice, and they take up a lot of space generally. They're a good space filler. If you don't know, if you have like a path or something and you don't know what to put around it, an arch like this will do you a lot of good. I did the thing. I kind of just... Uh, smoothed it out and did a gradient of textures, which I think is fine. Uh, I think it looks good. It's fine. Whatever. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's, you know, it, it serves its purpose. I, there's still, I, oh yeah, I added these little ponds here. This, this one with the spring water and this one over here with blood, which I think is cool. There's still a lot of empty space. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of blacked in this windows because I didn't feel like doing the interior. So I, I, I kind of just left them like that. But I did make ways for doors and stuff. I and mean, there's still a lot of empty space in this area. And I think I'm going to solve that with uh, just environmental stuff. On this side, I think I'm just going to do like these rock formation pillars, like spikes and stuff. Maybe? Potentially? Possibly? And then I can come and add uh, maybe these to the top, make it spike, spiky. And that ah, doesn't look good. Nope. 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 Uh, but the rock formation itself doesn't look so bad. Looks pretty cool, and, you know, the coal is... There's a huge precedent for it. It's everywhere in the terrain. So that should work out. I'm not sure how uh, to space these out. I'm, I'm, I guess I'll just throw them around until it looks like the space is full. Because uh, compositionally, there's just, like, all the space, and I'm like... Meh, 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 meh. Uh, precisely that noise. Specifically that noise. No no other emotions can accurately express my feelings aside from that noise. Yeah, I think I, I, I'm, I'm going to litter some of those around. Do we have red leaves? What color leaves do we have? Do we... We do have red leaves. I wonder, does this look good or does it, or is foliage like not? Eh, foli foliage doesn't really work in this area. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of other things that could work in this area to add color and, and, and life to it. It'll be easier on this side. I think on this side, I'm gonna do, let's see, where's, I need bone block for the tree, and do we have some, uh, colored, yes, we have magic leaves, so I can kind of make a, a tree, just a, just a basic tree, nothing exceptionally special, because I, I, I want to fill the space, so I want to just have, like, a few small trees versus one giant tree, because there's gonna be all this bottom space, so I could do that and place the leaves like that. These leaves are, <laughs> they're awfully metallic. I didn't realize they would be so metallic, but I think they're, I think they're okay. They're quite shiny, but that, that's, that's fine. It does go with the colors, the, the blue, and it's a very nice combination of colors and such. And I just build the tree up like this, kind of give it like an oak, I, I guess I'm probably going to go for like an oak tree type shape of, uh, of bush as opposed to those hanging trees, or maybe not, I don't know. I just gotta place blocks until it looks good. That's really the trick with these trees. You just trial and error place blocks until it looks good. Uh, needs more body on the top, I think. Mm, 
body on the top. <laughs> uh, it makes it slightly hard to record when you're just randomly placing blocks and you're trying to describe what you're doing and you're just like, oh, I'm doing the random again, doing the random dance. Yes, yeah, 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 Tree, trees like that. And, and with this side, I can actually, do we have Natura around? No, we don't have Natura. There's something glitched out about Natura. I have to figure that out. But we can put leaves around like this, because leaves will work in this area, because it's it's like the light side, so um, leaves will work. Do we have ghost wood leaves? No, that's Natura. Wait, 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 wait. Go, go, nah, um, nope, no ghost would lose. I, I, yeah, I gotta figure out the Natura thing. I got, I kept getting some mod rejections, even though I had the right mod. Like, it, it kept telling me that I needed Mantle version 10.3, and I had version 10.3. I, I don't know, it's weird. Weird, 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 weird. weird. And, let's see. Yeah, that that might be a little bit too much leaves, but you, you, you sort of get the idea. I wonder, I forgot about this black, I wonder if this flesh will look good, like, like, kind of, that's an odd noise, I didn't expect it to make, I expected to make the squirk noise, and that would be gross, but effective. Maybe, like, pile some of them up around the water and, like, blend it into the the surface below and such? Because that, that could do- that could take the place of what the leaves are doing on the other side? Potentially? And it just- uh, as opposed to the coal pillars, kind of centralize them on the, uh, blood lake? Because it's like, there's a bunch of flesh and it's like bleeding blood and that, I, I think that gets the hell, hell type thing across. We could, let's see, let's, let's put some over here. We kind of want it all around. Like this is like a, I don't know, like a big bloody cloaca. I, I don't know. That's probably a real gross image. So you're welcome for that gross image. Uh, let's just kind of litter them. Just, just litter them around. Uh, what about magma, uh, or what, what, what are those called? Wart blocks? Nether wart blocks, there we go. Um, I can, I can put some of them deep down in here, because that'll, that'll give some definition, because it's darker than the flesh, and because it's deep, it's, 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 it's like the flesh is more saturated with blood, or, or whatever, or, or, I don't know. It's like darker, or you know, it's just just the depth makes it look darker from from underneath. I don't know. That could work. That could work. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a little. I'll, I'll 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 clean it up more off camera. But I think that helps a lot. I think that helps considerably, actually. Okay, I got some of those features in. Spread out some more of the flesh. Added a couple more blood pools because I thought it needed. It was very gray and it needed more color and so I got it. I got more color and still keeping that hell evil theme. Added a few more coal blocks. They do look a little b busy and cluttered, but it's okay, eh, whatever. I added leaf piles around like I had before. I removed that one because it was spirally and not really very good. I, I, I made them more clustered, having thicker areas of them versus few of them spotted out. Added a couple more trees, which I think is good. I, d I didn't add more hot spring pools because I didn't want it to be the same as that side. I just wanted to have the one pool. But I think we have covered the space pretty well, and I think we have this idea executed. I think this came out good. I like how this came out. I like these two buildings. I like the way that they blend. I like the that that's cool th thing. And in general, I think we executed the idea, so I'm going to call that challenge complete. So I'm going to say good day to you, Internet, and thank you for watching.